Good afternoon. Calvin Anderson, Group Track Network News. I'm with the visionary of the Black Business Expo 1, North Carolina, Mr. Eric Kelly. Good afternoon and welcome to the Black Business Expo. Hope that you had an awesome time. As we began to look at this journey, there are several things that we work on at the Expo. And the biggest thing is work we work on is building capacity across the state of North Carolina. The $180 billion that's raised by African Americans or earned by African Americans is always said that it revolves in our neighborhood for only six hours. I continue to submit that it only sleeps in our, in our community. Because when you get your check and you go home and you get ready to leave, you take the money out of the community. Now the reason that you do that is because where are the black businesses? And the Black Business Expo wants to build capacity so that you can find businesses across the state of North Carolina. And when you start talking about a vision, you got to talk about the mission. And the mission of the Black Business Expo is to raise scholarships for kids in five disciplines. Advertising, business, entrepreneurship, technology, and advertising. And of course, today was a great day. You can go and see pictures and video on BlackBusinessExpo1.com. Durham is the home of the first Black Wall Street. And we are going to continue to push Black Wall Street down the street. Mr. Kelly, how were you inspired to do such a tremendous event? I was inspired by my grandmother. When I was in school, when they asked who was going to go to college, I always raised my hand. And when I got to my senior year, I was fortunate enough for three teachers to stop me in the hallway and say, you know, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your talent. And they said, you have to draw for us in all three classes. And I drew for all three classes. At the end of the year, I got the, the trophy from the Durham Leaks as the best artist in the state. And then all the letters came. I ended up with a scholarship at North Carolina Central University. And my grandmother at that time gave me the family car. And that was big. That was big in the 70s for you to get the family car or for you to get a car at all. And after that, after I graduated from high school, graduated from college, she said that she would like to see a show where black businesses and corporations could get together and do business. And so I started doing this show for her and I did it for over 20 years. Durham is, undergo is undergoing uh, massive uh, transformation. What do you expect a project um, will happen in uh, 2019 for black businesses in Durham? Well, what we expect is for black businesses to find each other in 2019. One of the challenges that everybody has, whether it's the Koreans, whether it's the Hispanics, whether it's anyone, is identifying where to put their money. A friend of mine by the name of Bill Cherry used to say, where you give your money to is who you give your power to. And he also would say, your power lies in your people ties. And what he was basically saying to you, we have to take our money and put it in our community to make our, our community power. Eric, what is an entrepreneur? An entrepreneur is a thinker. An entrepreneur is a person who thinks about what is missing and create a business to, to cover what's missing. What kind of math skills do you need? Math skills, one to a hundred times tables are the only math skills you need. Because counting money is very essential in development. And if you don't count money, then you lose money. What kind of people skills do you need? You need to be able to read, to write, and another thing that you need to be able to do is to be intellectually smart. And what I mean by that is you have to study. You have to study and study and study some more. Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher was Miss, I would say Miss Dow. She was my art teacher. She was the one that pulled me aside and said, we're not going to allow you to walk into class every, every, every time we give a project and do the best project in the school. We're going to ask you to do better and more than everybody else because you can. 
What are the three most important books you ever read? The three most important books that I've ever read. One, I would say The Master Salesman by Og Mandino. <laughs> that was one book that was uh, very, very instrumental. Another book I read when I was a young man called The Contender. It was about a boxer who was a contender and, and the hardships that he went through. And then the last book, I would say, hmm, that's a good, the third book was called Think and Grow Rich. <laughs> that was the third book. And that book really changed my ideas about how to do things and how to propel missions and goals to the next level. Tell us about your website again. My website is blackbusinessexpo1.com, and that's the number one. Dot com. And on the website, you'll have access to the, to the app. And on the app, we have some 15,000 names and numbers that you can get and utilize to build capacity from across the state of North Carolina. What services do you provide during the year round? Year round? Well, I run a branding agency. If you go to the dictionary and you look at the word brand, you probably will see my name next to it. Branding is what we do. We do advertising, public relations. We do marketing. And what's most important thing that we do, we listen to people and, and figure out where they're trying, where they're going, and then we take them to those places. What's your telephone number? 919-308-9090. Mr. Keller, your vision is filling so much capacity here in Durham, a thriving community. Um, the whole triangle is morphing. Um, into the 21st century and fulfilling itself and we can only thank you for the work that you're doing. Well I want to thank you for coming out. You know a lot of times when people come to events they don't take the time and realize the power of what's going on. Thank you so very much Kevin and we look forward to all the great things that you continue to do. Of course I'll say it this is Eric Kelly the third from the south side of Durham, North Carolina saying what you're looking for is looking for you. Graceful for respect, sir. Thank you.